教えてレイタ先生 You can meet this kind of girls everywhere actually you can meet them in subway station taxi stand nightclub bar beach avoid to talk about you and of course the very most important thing if you meet someone or person that you are interested in and you ask her name if she don't ask your name never mention it so let's make it this way that the first time since you met last time you have to call her once uh, so if the I mean your conversation was positive try to set up another meeting like another date or if she's busy and she have to you know do something else once you finish with your conversation send her a mail so from that you have to choose so or she will reply you and you don't have to send any other messages because you will be kind of impatient and uh, a little bit annoying so wait until she replies if she don't reply to you wait for like one week and call her back if she don't if she's not answering you that means it's back so leave her alone sometimes we have to understand when to stop because sometimes it's just getting ridiculous we are too concentrated about everything and from this point everything negative that's happened to us we're just trying to think it positive but it's actually not because we are making it positive it's like for example if you're going to be rejected and you will think positive because like you're gonna play with words like as she didn't really reject me but I may have still any chances but I mean the, if you have a very small relation with this person she just cannot you know offend you and say and get the fuck up that would be very direct you know so probably this person is thinking about you and she don't want to hurt you so it's gonna be more or less like wavy stuff and what well, you have to understand that if she's denying or she's saying no in any way that it's really no and you have to stop hopefully we'll spend a great time and have a lot of fun together and now I will speak about conclusion so conclusion it is the final stage of your date which is the goodbye kiss so let's divide a uh, girl's personality on three so first it's gonna be very hot personality a very emotional another is gonna be uh, in the middle quite you know let's say it's normal and last one is the shy personality as you know for each personality you have to adapt yourself that's what I told you about the adaptation and your analysis and statistics about the girl and so you will have to use all that you learn about this girl in the end so the last kiss uh, situation will change actually on the different circumstances and situations so as you probably can understand that if it's a very hard personality uh, she is probably uh, ready to that you kiss her and uh, will uh, show you sign like you know take you take your hand or you know looking at your eyes with uh, an envy and well she'll make you understand anyway everything depends on you because you are the one who is working and if you succeed you probably uh, can have in time with her in your bed or you can conserve her for later because actually the hot personality uh, if you had really good time she will expect you to keep her and well it's up to you if you want a serious relation I recommend you to not kiss her or at least you know uh, just kiss her on her check and say bye so in this situation I mentioned you before that you have to set up a time and uh, try to spend a little bit more of your time with her to show her that you are very late and once you kiss her uh, try to quickly disappear if you feel that she don't want to go home alone well you can ask her eventually to go at your place and you know watch a movie uh, don't show her your sexual attention at least if you're not very sure if she's very very hot just you know make her blow uh, you know set up the fire and everything is done for you but in this case 
well, it's gonna be a little bit tough for you to make a serious relationship because, you know, uh, it's all about sex. So once you will sleep with her, things will actually change. Or, you know, girls are changing their mind very quickly, so be careful of that. For uh, normal girls, personality, just uh, let the thing go and see how it's gonna act in. If you will feel that she wants to kiss you or just keep her and uh, ask her what she's up to and finish your day. In the case if she's shy and you feel that she's feeling uncomfortable, uh, don't try to push her, you know, to kiss her or something like this kind because actually shy girls, they are uh, very emotional and probably they're thinking about, you know, the goodbye kiss and usually they are not ready. So they will kind of, you know, block in and be very concentrated on this. So try to, you know, make her laugh that she forgets about it, you know, to distress her. If while you are walking to the metro station or the train station, she isn't talking as she did previously, so you are sure that she is blocking about the goodbye kiss or something else. So try to, you know, talking about something that you had a very good time or remind your experience of your evening uh, to make her comfortable. In this situation, I suggest you definitely not to kiss her and just uh, tell her that you spent a great time, uh, you know, hug her and say bye and disappear. So from that time, wait her until she mail you back or call you back. Do not mail her again, you know, saying that you spend a great time together. Uh, try to avoid this kind of thing because, you know, if she didn't want to kiss you means that she's not ready, so probably she will have her own reasons. Uh, probably to be something like personal, family, another person that she's in love with for, you know. Just leave her some time uh, and she'll definitely call you back. If you haven't kissed her uh, the very first date, try absolutely to do it on the second date. Otherwise, it will get a habit and she will take your distance and just, you know, it's going to be a more friend-to-friend -friend relationship. So try to show her your feelings and set up uh, things straight out. The best way to make it face-to-face -face and laughing, actually, try to avoid any serious, uh, you know, situation because it's actually, you know, very embarrassing and, I mean, at least if you are a good talker, but if you are very shy, uh, it could actually look ridiculous. So try to say that I like you or I love you, uh, laughing, doing something, and you know it has to be a very good timing and good situation. So just be positive. Don't try to be negative. Don't stress. You know, just smile and like say I like you when you're smiling, and doing something. And at the beginning, she will probably say like, ask you if it's a joke and you know tell her that you're serious but still laughing and stop the topic because this way she will ask him herself if you really like her or not and this time you will show her i mean for you it's gonna be a big step because she will know what you're up to even if you are acting a little bit different than other guys do once you kiss this person you actually could finally reveal your situation that you are single and that you want to spend your time with her and she'll really appreciate that. For those who don't want to have a one night stand with girl and who are aiming to make this girl uh, their real girlfriend, well I suggest you to avoid any nightclub and to not make her drink because well um, majority of girls are very easy to get drunk and even with two glass of I don't know like rum coke uh, they could probably get tipsy and as you are up to you know something serious usually when girls are tipsy and you are very in love guys are acting very aggressive and if you want to avoid any meanless fighting in the club because when you went to toilet girls is dancing someone else just don't go there. I hope you can now understand why in which situation we will get an unwanted friend and how to deal with it. I think that's it. 
so I decided to make the free video as a trial and see what's happening. If you guys like it, I'll probably make some more. But if you don't, you spare my time.